It is 9.55 and I want to see if we're able to break 79 here with CYDY because it does have a lot of size. But if we break 79, we break the top of this range, it can make a move towards this range or VWAP. It's about the same level at this point and then it can continue to, if it's best case scenario, uptrend above VWAP and it can be a super profitable over a longer period of time. I did try CYDY twice. I did try... 250 shares at um, 938 and that was at 801 938 was right here at 801 is when i got in i thought it looked like at the time it was going to do a morning panic balance play right here and it didn't do it i dig it out very quickly the same minute i barely sold for a profit i sold at um, 8011 at the same minute at 938 it just didn't work out. The price action seemed off. It looked like it was going to be the ideal bottom, but then it stopped. It looks like we did break above 79 a low. It was kind of weird the way it did it. Now we have 799, but that's pretty much 80 cents. That's pretty cool. I did trade it again, and this time it was at a lower level, 300 shares at 77.32, and that was at 949 right here. 949 is when I got in and it was at 77.32 so again that was right around here when i got in it looks like the morning panic bounce play could be in very simple get out if it breaks the day low and if it continues the uptrend try to sell as best as i can and i think i did all right i did sell in pieces i didn't sell everything at once i sold one piece when it started the work at 9.52 at 78 right here at 78 is when i sold my first 100 shares then i sold another 100 shares when it started the uptrend more because a big seller showed up at 952 i sold some more at 789 which was right around right here when i got out the other 100 shares and then the last 100 shares i held even though it broke through the trend line thinking that ideally it can maybe break this line hold 78 and then it can continue the uptrend and regain itself like it's doing right now but um, I got out because it just didn't seem like it was going to work out because there was a lot of sellers at 79, but it was able to break through it. Now it would be pretty nice if I was able to sell my last 100 shares at 80 cents, but at least I did try. I sold the last 100 shares at 9.55. That was right before it started the workout, actually, yeah. That was at 78.65 is when I got out right here, my last piece. It did do it. I can, you know, with more practice, be able to be in that situation where I'm in a morning panic bounce play. I'm selling while it's going along the first uptrending trend line and then it breaks under it. Ideally, it makes a higher low off of the panic bottom and then it continues to make a move towards the upside and then I can sell the rest of my shares for more profit. So it was a good attempt. It did manage to get above 79 and it got to 80 and I would be very happy when it was at 80 at the bid, I believe. Would have been happy to sell there and that's also not taking into consideration that it could also break above the 80 level um above vwap and then it might even try to uptrend even more if it can do that so yeah that was a pretty good run and a pretty good attempt i was also looking at sirc i did try to get long but i didn't get filled i did try at 933 to buy 700 shares at 535 which was right here I didn't get failed. I saw the turnaround in the level two price action. And when we were dropping around the 52s, I remember that was like a pretty important resistance um, level and now support around right here, 52. So when it dropped to that level, it was, you know, not guaranteed, but it was super likely that I was going to try to hold there and maybe even bounce a little if that. And I just didn't get failed here. This was a pretty nice um, uptrending um you know move right here a nice morning panic bounce play i wasn't able to get filled this thing can maybe just chill around vwap and then try to break maybe the highs here at 5702 and then maybe i'll trim more but i would ideally like it if it can head back down break the lows and maybe be like a morning panic bounce play a higher low or maybe a double bottom or um even a lower low i would consider that as well so there's a potential out there for SIRC for um, a trade and CYDY also, if it does the same thing, maybe it only gets to VWAP here, for example, and then it makes a higher low off of here. I might be interested in trading that. And then maybe that one is going to be able to break past VWAP 
I'll make an update later. All right, it is 12.31 p.m. and I want to make an update. And I had a few trades. I'm not extremely sure where I left off, but I was looking at CYDY for, um, it was like a maybe a dip under VWAP, but over a longer period of time that it could try to dip under and then break past the VWAP level. I was watching it a few times, but it just never looked clean and never looked like it was going to really do it or when it did look like it was doing it it was something like this where we had like these three ticks and it was trying to break the range uh, and, and then it just shoots back up and it that you know that, that's just not something i want to put uh, my money in and i noticed that i also don't have that much settled cash this is a cash account so i might try to hold off of trading so that you know if something really nice comes up today i will be able to trade that otherwise i'll probably have a lot more cash available um you know settled cash tomorrow i did trade sirc i really wish i knew exactly which trades that i go over previously but i guess i'll go over the the last one for sure at 11.59 i did um actually no at 10.55 i bought a thousand shares at 52.99 and that was right around here at 10.55 i got in because you know we had that dip and then we had that lower low i think i actually didn't go over this one i did trade the lower low setup which ended up happening we'll actually we'll actually just go over that one first and that was at 10.10 i did buy um 850 shares right here at 10.10 at 50 in the 98 level so right around here is when i got in and it took a while for it to work out well, it did eventually uptrend. I got in again right here at 1010 at this 5098 level. So right under the 51 level, I saw that drop, um, that drop and everything, and I thought it was going to make an uptrend and break past 51, and then it could be something like this, something really nice. What happened was is that I got in under the 51 level, and then you know I did sell in pieces, and I ultimately got out of everything by the time it was at um, 10 12 because of the fact that you know i'm in it breaks past 51 it trades back and forth and i didn't like it I, I thought i could try to do something more consistent and more clean but it actually did do the thing that i'm trying to get better at it uptrended it traded back and forth ended up making a higher low off of this level and then it made a move towards vwap i didn't manage to sell anything there but i was actually trying to be patient and I did sell because it wasn't looking too nice, but this thing did do exactly what I'm trying to get better at, which is selling a piece once it does like um, a higher low off of the panic bottom. And then it, you know, uptrends even more and it got to be wet like it did here. That was a, a 10 for what it was. It could have been better, sure, but I liked the experience I had. And then that's when I bought a thousand shares later and that was at 10.55. And this one was that move towards VWAP right here is when I got in at um 535 no at 5299 right around here is when i got in at uh, 5299 and the idea was is that it was looking like it was going to break above the 53 level and then ideally it uptrends more and it gets to vwap this one kind of got to vwap right here and i did sell in pieces and then i did get out uh, when it looked like it was going to break the uptrending trend line which is in my last sell was at 11 o'clock at 539 right here my last piece at 539 so right around right here's when i got out of my last piece and then this thing did it again it did you know downtrend to the original 53 level that it broke past and then it eventually made a move towards vweb so it was another example of that same thing i'm trying to get better at and i'm glad that you know these two were opportunities to learn from and be a part of in terms of trading there's nothing else that I'm really interested in. I did also have an attempt at buy with this one right here, RSHN, and that was at 1042. I did try to buy right here the first time. It was looking like it was going to break the high and the nice round number of the sub penny 30 level. And I, I placed an order, but I didn't get filled. And then it shot up to 32, so I didn't want to trade it anymore. And I got out of the position, or at least I got out of the, you know, my um order to get in so i never got filled and ended up it ended up being like a little wick right here it hasn't really done anything else i'll make an update later but 
I probably won't trade anything else today unless something looks super nice. Alright, it is 8.24 p.m. and I'm here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be up on a day $15.27 and that was four trades. And I could have been a lot better. This was really bad. I accidentally calculated my size terribly wrong as to what I was trying to do with a $40 risk level. Instead, I had uh, 250 shares here, 350 shares with CYDY, the first two trades, and I was severely undersized. If I had the right amount of size, right, with this setup, um, and this one too, although it didn't matter too much because it was a scratch, this would have been um, like a 20 plus dollar day. Unfortunately, that was the case there, and I need to continuously work on having the right amount of shares. And there was a lot of opportunity for me to be even more profitable like with the setups with CYDY when I first traded this uh, Morning Panic Bounce play, the setup right here that doesn't even look that, um, you know, easy to, with the extended hours. It's kind of hard to see it now. This setup worked out at 9.38, and I am trying to get, uh, not 9.38, this one right here at 9.49. This is something that I could have been much more profitable with. I did sell... Uh, my best sell at 789, which was right around here, the top of the range. And it did continue the uptrend some more. It did get to VWAP and even got above it. And that's something that I'm trying to get better at. And then when I had that other trade uh, with CYDY, which was... No, actually, it was this one. I was trying to see if it was going to break past the 80 cent level. And it eventually did much later in the day. I guess this would have been something a lot harder for me to trade. And then with SIRC, I did have those few setups with SIRC. And those were also setups that I could have been more profitable with. Like at 10.55, this one. Right around right here. You know, it did put up a higher low and then get above VWAP. This could have been more profitable. And then the first trade with SIRC at 10.10. This one could have been much more profitable too. I, I bought right into the breakout. Um, above 51 and I sold in this little range right here it did end up being a higher low from here and then getting the VWAP at 54 so yeah this could have been a lot more profitable I could have at least traded the right amount of shares with CYDY and that would have allowed me to have a 20 plus dollar day that would have made back um, even more from yesterday where I had that um, a little larger than average loss because I had to pay commissions and I took a short setup just a lot of things that I could get better at, but at least I can see them. And yeah, that's it for today.